Small Water is a glacially formed tarn in the eastern section of the Lake District. While it's true to its name in terms of size, the same can't be said for its resident trout. I'm always hopeful when exploring a new lake, but I definitely wasn't expecting this small tarn to provide fish the size it did. The journey includes a scenic drive along the iconic road to Mardale Head, alongside Horswater Reservoir. It takes a hike just shy of 2km to reach this stunning destination, and little did I know at the time, I was about to catch some of the biggest trout the high mountain tarns have to offer, all with unique colourations I haven't seen anywhere else on my travels. I found orange spots and a lilac tinge to be a recurring theme on what could be my most exciting tarn trip to date. Arrived up here at Smallwater. Um, it's been about a half an hour, 45 minute walk up from Mardale Head near Hallswater Reservoir. Really excited about fishing here. It looks absolutely stunning. Nice ripple on the water. Surrounded by mountains. Gonna be using uh, the rigged and ready times five fishing rod today. So that means I have the option to fly fish as well as spinning. This is my second time using this rod, but really the first time using it for its true purpose out here in the, the fells. This rod actually comes with a few different tips. I'm going to be using the one for a light spinner today. Quick and easy setup. Very compact. So these are the uh, rod tips that comes with the rigged and ready setup. We've got a spinning tip here which I'll be using today. Tip here for the more heavyweight lures. A fly tip which I might also bring out depending on conditions after we get started. And just a standard sort of multi-purpose bait fishing tip. But today, for now, we're going with this one. It's a nice one. It's jumping. Gotta be careful here because these are barbless hooks. It's putting up a fair fight, this one. Come on, it's a nice one as well. So here we have an absolutely, truly stunning example of a mountain trout. This is actually the biggest trout I've ever caught from a place like this. High up in the mountains. Absolutely stunning, I actually can't believe that. There's orange spots on it. Truly, truly incredible fish. that had just caught that wonderful fish. Purple beads, something I don't usually use this. Um, gift from Rigged and Ready Travel Rods. Originally from, originally from Fish Creek Spinners. Very pleased with its performance so far.
fish. Where's he taking me? He's staying near the bottom. It's all right, I've got the net with me. Going for the rocks. Yes, please. Thank you. Fish number two. Very happy, another gorgeous trout. Deep hook though, had it right in his gills. Really difficult to get out this one. Just managed to get it out now. We're going to get him back in the water as quickly as possible. Sorry, I'm sorry, little fish. Quick change to the sinking hornet. Sure, this isn't gonna let me down. Fish, oh, yes, it's a good one. Please, can you grab the net? Yep. Oh, yes. It's <laughs> trying to swim deep. <laughs> Lovely oh, stuff. <laughs> Look at that for a fine example of a trout. Uniquely coloured, I believe. Seems to me that every sort of every sort of place like this I visit, every different mountain town always has something else to offer in terms of how these fish look. You got the small fish of blind tarn that are really colourful to these which are just covered covered in spots absolutely wonderful we've been fishing for a couple of hours now um, caught three and they're very nice fish actually on spinners but it's going a bit quiet so I think I'm going to switch over to a fly setup with this rod. Not something I've been able to do previously because I've never really been bothered to bring up more than one rod but now I'm going to be using a um, Shakespeare Odyssey reel this time because my rigged and ready reel isn't set up yet. Waiting on some new line to arrive. First thing, switch tips, simple, reel off, bottom bit out, easy as that. There, we have a travel fly rod.
Have you got one? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Take your time, take your time. Has it? Bring it around, bring it around. Well done. <laughs> First trout. Look at that. That's a pretty purple as well. It is, it's lilac. <laughs> Fish for a few hours now, three fish right at the end, Kate caught her first ever trout, all on her own as well. Lovely, lovely stuff, but um, after switching to the fly rod, it's just a shame I couldn't get that last bite on the fly. But I'm definitely going to come back and try out again with this new rod. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps the channel and I'm going to be doing this sort of thing regularly. Small water has really pulled out the bag. The trout here are bigger than anything else I've seen from a mountain tarn. Absolutely pristine fish as well, great size, would highly recommend this place. Catch you down the road.